what would you choose? Money or family? Well, there is a story today that I would like to talk about, which is exactly on that topic. One day, in a beautiful kingdom, there was a king. And the king's name was King Midas. King Midas, he was very wealthy and he had stacks of gold and money everywhere around him. They were all sitting by his throne and he was counting each and each of his gold. And he looked around and sighed. Hmm... I need more gold. But his whole throne room was already filled of gold. Then, King Midas's daughter, she was having a whole garden. She had so many flowers and she loved having flowers. Especially being able to see the beauty of them, the color, the smell, and being able to raise them. Then, his daughter brought a rose to him and said, Hey, Daddy, look, I have a rose, and I was able to grow it. Then, King Midas said, Yeah, yeah, that's cool. The daughter wasn't really getting much of the appreciation that she needed, which made her feel a little sad. But then, one day, King Midas, he was walking around the kingdom, just chilling and being able to look at the view. But then, all of a sudden, a mysterious figure came up to him and said, Hey, do you want to have one wish? Then King Midas was like, well, can I wish for anything? Then the mysterious figure said, yeah, you can wish for anything. Then, King Midas, he said, yes. Then I wish that anything that I touch turns into gold. Then, King Midas, he tested out his power. As he looked over and he saw that there was a leaf on the floor, he touched the leaf and it turned into gold. Then he looked back and the mysterious figure was already gone. Then King Midas went back to his kingdom and started touching everything that he could with gold. He made gold plates, gold forks, gold things, and gold everything. Then his daughter came up to him again and said, Hey, Daddy, look, I have a flower for you. And it was a new flower. It was beautiful, and she loved it. Then, her dad said, Yeah, it's really beautiful. But you know how I can make the flower better? Then, all King Midas had to do was touch the flower. Then it turned into gold. Then his daughter said, Hey, why did you do that? It was perfectly fine. And then King Midas said, well, look, it's into gold, and gold is beautiful. Then the daughter looks at the flower and says, no, it's just some metal gold yellow thing. Then his daughter ran away to the garden again. King Midas got sad. Then after a couple of hours, he saw that she wouldn't come to the dinner table. He went out to the garden and said, Hey, I'm sorry, can you forgive me? Then King Miras' his daughter said, Yeah, I can forgive you, it's okay. Then, as his daughter came up to King Miras and hugged him, then all of a sudden, her, his daughter turned into gold. All there was right now was a body of his daughter and complete gold shining in the sunlight. Then, King Midas completely panicked. He got scared and he was rushing around. Then he went back outside the castle.
castle so he can see if he can do anything to f help fix his daughter. Then the mysterious figure came again and said, Hey, are you enjoying your new wish? Then King Mira said, No, I'm not enjoying my new wish. My daughter has turned into gold and I need to fix it. Then the mysterious figure said, Are you sure? Because once you get rid of it, you can never wish for it ever again. Then King Mira said, yeah, anything to save my daughter. Then the mysterious figure said, okay, you'll have to go into the special river. It's miles away and you have to go there quickly. Then King Midas said, okay, I'll do it. King Midas, then he started traveling to the special river. He kept traveling and traveling, walking. He didn't even manage to get his horses since he was so panicked to go help his daughter. Then after hours and hours of getting to the special river, King Midas started to crawl towards the river and he put his whole body in the river and washed himself in it. Then King Midas got out of the special river and tested it out. He touched a leaf that was on the floor and it was normal, nothing happened. Then King Midas rushed home. He ran super fast into the kingdom and then he saw his daughter standing there really happy and excited to see him. His daughter went up to him and said, thank you daddy, thank you. The moral of the story is that you should never be greedy and that you should also be careful of what you wish for because as we can see, King Midas, he wished that everything he touched would turn into gold. But he never managed to think of how he could care about his family more than his greed. Because when he said that he wished that he could turn anything into gold, even though he was the king of the whole entire place, and even though he had so much more money than anybody else, he was still greedy for gold. And he never wanted to think about how his daughter would feel, never wanted to even think about her. Just wanted to think about only himself. So the moral of the story is that you should be careful what you wish for and don't be greedy. Because you should always care about your family no matter what. Because I know that at the end, he was finally worried about his daughter. But that was only because that she was almost gone. Which obviously, it isn't good if we only care for people once they're about to be gone or if they're gone. So we always have to make sure we try and spend time with family as much as possible. Don't be greedy for money. And most importantly, don't say that, oh, I wish this, oh, I wish that. Because instead, appreciate for what you have. Because there can be a lot of more people out there that don't have what you have. And would be really happy to have what you were having. But I'm really happy that I was able to speak about this story. And this story, I actually even performed this in my ELA class. And I am really happy that I was able to share this since it has a really great moral. But for now, I'd like to end this live video. And I really thank everybody for watching and joining. And I'll see you guys soon in my next video. Bye-bye.